and two more in scoring position. So the Stripers are going to have to bring the infield in. Everybody touching the grass on the Stripers infield as Chisholm slaps one the other way in the left center field, sinking and down. This is going to play to pair. In to score Chavez. Right behind him is Edwards sliding into second is Jazz Chisholm Jr. with his first hit of the series and it scores a pair and opens this game up. It's 7-2 Jacksonville. Wonder if Jazz Chisholm out there at center field still thinking about that ball off his glove. Here's another one his way. Well struck to right center field towards the gap. Diving catch made by Chisholm. Unbelievable. And they're going to have Hoy Park easily dead to rights at first base here. He's doubled off. And that's a double play. Jazz Chisholm certainly makes up for sending a home run over the fence for Luke Williams as he dives in right center field and takes away what is at least a double for Yomer Sanchez. The top prospect for Boston. Here's a 3-2. Swing and a drive into the left center field gap. Rojas turns. Kiss it goodbye. It's gone. Off the scoreboard for Marcelo Meyer. Back-to-back -back games with long balls for the top prospect for Boston and Portland takes the 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first inning. Two out home run for Marcelo Meyer. Horton winds for the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Horton the strong right-hander. 6-1 to 11. His pitch is waved at and missed, strike three. Back-to-back -back K's to open the first inning for Cade Horton. The 3-2 is called strike three. And he strikes out three in the top of the first inning. Good start for Cade Horton. Here comes the one-two, and that's blown by Farmer on a big fastball at 96. Good luck for a strikeout for Horton. His one-two. Swing and a miss, strike three, breaking ball away. That is punch out number five for Cade Horton. Long hold, the one-two. Curve ball, strike three, Cole. Down goes Bender, punch out number six. For Kane Orton. Been able to dominate the pitching at this level. 0 2 is ripped back through the middle. A solid base hit for Kobe Mayo. As the center fielder's over to cut it off, Mayo's thinking two, and he slides in safely as the throw from Young is a touch offline. So it's a hustle double for Kobe Mayo, his 23rd of the season. Mayo grew up in Florida and was originally committed to play his college ball with the Florida Gators before he being drafted. As he rips this one down the third baseline, it's into the left field corner. He rounds first base, Mayo cruises into second with his second double of the game as the ball returns into third base. The VA is a program in which you have to invest in because the more folks who invest in it, the more resources are available as Kobe Mayo lifts it to left field and it is off the left fielder's glove and into the crowd. It's a solo home run for Kobe Mayo. It is the fifth time this season he has homered against Altoona out of his 13 this year. It is 4-1 base on. Yeah, two doubles in a home run. I'd say Kobe Mayo is swinging a pretty confident bat right now. Yeah, for it. Wave and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball for strike three. Two up, two down to start the game for Hentz. Hentz with the 2-2. Two -two. Wave and a miss. That's a swinging strikeout on that slider once again. Second K of the ball game for Hentz and out number one in the bottom of the second inning. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Wallace goes up the ladder. And that's a very common two-strike strategy for Tink Hentz. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Tink Hentz strikes out the side in order in the bottom of the second inning. He's got four strikeouts in two in scoreless frames. 0-2. Got him. Swing and a miss at almost an identical pitch. This one around the knees, and Valdez unable to make contact. So a marquee matchup here. Hence the number two prospect in the Cardinals system. Gavin Cross, number one for Kansas City. 3-2 to cross. Tipped into the glove of McKeithen for strike three. The pitch. Wave and a miss. Another wipeout slider from Hentz. Seven strikeouts. Tyler Stewart working around a two-out double in the first. And his first pitch hammered in the air to deep left. Back of the track at the wall, and it's off of the scoreboard. 
Antonio Gomez nearly plants one off of his face. He's running, sliding into second base. He didn't even realize that he broke the video board out there in left center field. An entire series of panels out there on the bottom of the video board in straightaway left have gone dark. And the Renegades take a 1-0 second inning lead. And unfortunately, it's right where the nameplate goes for the players that step up to bat. So perhaps some trouble for fans identifying players. His catcher, Max Wright. This ball hit high, deep to left field. Going back on it is Auerbach to the track, and it's gone. A three-run jack off the bat of Alex De Jesus and Vancouver. Takes a 3-0 lead. Still nobody out here in the top of the first inning. Hits this one high and deep to left. And Auerbach will watch it go again off of the scoreboard. De Jesus follows up his three-run homer in the first with a grand slam here in the fourth. And it is 10-2 Vancouver. They have quieted this massive Thirsty Thursday crowd. Well on the way to 200 of those for the full year. Here's the one, two, and there's another one. Swing and a miss, strike three. 526 now. Swings in, tips it back into the glove for strike three. 0-2, Allen swings over the top of a breaking ball for strike three. Third strikeout of the outing for Michael Soroka. He's back in action, his 0-2 pitch. Tried to paint the outside and does strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Welcome back to the bump. Michael Soroka gets the call from Paps, back to work. His 2-2, two -two. got him, strike three. Soroka strikes out the side. And a dominant outing continues for Michael Soroka. In the fifth, he struck out the side in order. He's ahead of Miller here, one and two. The pitch on the way, swung on and missed, strike three. Tag applied to the backside by Arden Paps. Another strikeout for Michael Soroka, make it his sixth of this ball game. Here's the 2-2, swing and a foul tip, strike three. There's punch out number seven for Michael Soroka. Soroka nods in agreement, 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Goes to the slider to sit down Burdick. Eighth strikeout for Michael Soroka. Now it's only Austin Allen standing in the way of potential Striper's history. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Tag applied. That's the ball game. Michael Soroka, almost a no-hitter tonight but he'll settle for a seven-inning complete game victory.